This is Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. I am here at the Kodak PixPro booth at the Las Vegas Convention Center for CES 2018. I'm joined here by Paul Mayhofer. He is the VP of Kodak PixPro, and they have a very cool new product out called the PixPro 360 Orbit. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it and what's different between some of the 360 cameras that you guys have done in the past? Okay, great. Yeah, actually this is a, a new product that we just started shipping not too long ago, and uh, it's the next generation of 360 cameras that are available. It does both video and still photography, but what's unique about this now is all the processing is built into the camera. So you can see I have two different lenses here, and basically I'm actually recording all 360 completely around the camera, and now the camera itself will stitch those two images together, which will make it available for, you can upload it like Facebook, or you can put it on YouTube, and you actually have a 360 uh, image going directly. I mean, that has been one of the limitations of 360 degree shooting before is that it has been a fairly extensive editing process where you'd have to pull either each individual camera down or each side of that and stitch it on in the back end in an edit editing process. So with this, everything is direct in the camera and you can upload through, do you have an app that you can upload then to Facebook or YouTube? Yeah, there. I mean, everything has to have an app right now, you know? So there is an app, there's uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, um, there's also Bluetooth connectivity for control. So within their, uh, whether it's iOS device or, you know, um, your Android device, you can actually connect and talk directly with the camera and control it. Um, and you can also download the images, whether it's still images or video. Um, it's just, it's got a lot of, you know, it's, it's just the next generation evolution of 360. There's a lot going on with VR and augmented reality and stuff, and we're starting to see all kinds of different applications for 360 um, that uh, we see, you know, for the future, this will only just get better and better each year. So as you are talking about the future, I know you guys have a few new products in the works for later in 2018. Can you talk kind of through what you guys have in store for 360 video and what you guys are working on? Absolutely. So we see two different sides. So one is more as the consumers, the technology gets better and easier to use, uh, consumers will get more engaged with actually creating their own 360 content. Um, and we have a new prototype product uh, that will be coming out later this year that will actually do uh, two different configurations. One is a 360 camera just like this, but also you can actually unfold the lenses so that it's actually a 180 stereoscopic lens. And by doing that, we can actually create 3D images um, and video. So we're really excited about that. We think a lot of people will start to play with it. Some of the gamers will certainly want to you know, get 3D yeah. type. Uh, in 360. So that's uh, one of the things that we're really excited about. The other one is just to really improve on the lens quality and the picture quality of the 360 image. So we have a, a professional prosumer type product that we're working on that instead of using two different lenses, we're actually using three lenses and we can stitch together and then create a much larger file with a much higher resolution. Um, and that will also uh, potentially be available later this year. Okay. So back to the orbit, you guys, I know one of the limitations of some action cams is low light capabilities and wondering how, how the Kodak functions in, in something, maybe even in a convention center like this that doesn't necessarily have the best lighting. Yeah, I mean, a lot of noise, you know, it gets introduced and stuff. So there's different settings, and with the app, you can actually change the different light settings to help improve the picture. I mean, it is a very small camera, so it's a, it's going to have its limitations. Um, so what we're really focusing on is just making it really easy for people to, to capture images and be able to share it. Um, the other thing that we can do with this that's kind of um, possibly trending is live streaming. So uh, by hooking it up to, you could do like Facebook live streaming uh, with the camera itself and then uh, share those images live, you know, real time. Well, great. And so is, this, is the Orbit 360 available today? And if so, when is the, what's the price point on that? Yeah, so we have two. We have a satellite pack and an adventure pack. And basically we bundle it with uh, different accessories like a selfie stick or a stand because now it's no longer a viewfinder. You're taking pictures. You're actually going to put it somewhere. Um, so depending on the pack, it starts at $4.99 um, and it goes up to $5.49. And that's the uh, Orbit uh, 360 4K camera. 
Okay. Thanks, Paul. Again, this is Jake Rossman for Digital Trends. We're here at the Kodak Pix Pro booth. They have the Kodak Pix Pro 360 Orbit that is out today. It is, and there's a couple of different packs you can get. You can check it out on KodakPixPro.com. Great. Thanks for joining us, and stay tuned for more coverage from CES from Digital Trends.